Officer who police say was going so fast on Route 1, it was clearly a danger to others. Well, the state police tried to stop him, and before they could, he crashed into a car, killing a 21-year-old man. State police say the troopers in command ordered an end to the pursuit just before the crash because it was too dangerous. WBZ's Christina Hager is live in Stoughton tonight, where that suspect, Christina, just appeared in court. Yeah, this arraignment just happened, and it was emotional as the victim's family sat in the front row of the courtroom here holding hands in tears as the prosecutor explained that the suspect at one point was going as fast as 100 miles per hour when he approached the intersection where he allegedly crashed into the victim, uh, killing him. Now, the suspect, Nicholas Snyder, is facing a motor vehicle homicide charge. He was scratched with blood on his face when police brought him in late this afternoon. Afternoon. He had gone to Brigham and Women's Hospital in Boston after the crash last night, then went to the Foxborough Police Department today for questioning and was prepared to stay the night there when the judge here suddenly ordered police to bring him in here this afternoon. He's accused of killing 21 year old Kevin Early when he slammed into Early's car at Route 1 and Old Post Road in Sharon Sunday night, leaving his family and friends just devastated. We were so blessed to have him for these short 21 years. He was talented, witty, funny, and lovable. Um, he loved life, but most of all, he loved his family. He'll not be forgotten, as he made the world a better place. Kevin was an old soul who loved unconditionally. Now, according to state police, it started with a police pursuit after they say Snyder almost hit a worker on a detail as he sped by a road construction site on the side of Route 1 in Foxborough. They followed him for a while before police say they backed off, and then police say he kept going, slammed into early before crossing over into the other lane, going the wrong way and hitting another vehicle, that driver in that vehicle not seriously injured. Now, the victim's relatives out here say he was out doing deliveries for DoorDash last night when this happened. And coming up at 6 o'clock, we'll learn more about this victim and why he was such an important part of the fabric of the community in Sharon. For now, we're live in Stoughton. Christina Hager, WBZ News. What a loss, Christina. Thank you. We have breaking news.